So the first thing I want to talk about is just kind of like what's on the home ribbon here. You got your you have your font, you have alignment, you have number formatting, you have conditional formatting, you have format as a table, you have these styles right here. You can insert and, and delete cells, and then you also have clearing format format right here. So all of those are uh, helpful things for formatting. And just to sort of illustrate basic formatting, so here's this data without any formatting. It's just data kind of laid out. And what I did for basic formatting is I just selected all of that data and I put a border around it. And then up above I did a little bit of a dark title and I merged and centered that over the, over the data. So to make that happen, I would uh, select this table and I held down Control and Shift on my keyboard <clears throat> and then hit the down arrow and the right arrow and that selected the whole table. And then I go up here and I could format my border. So I could put a thick box border around that entire thing. And now I've got that border around there. I could select that first cell and drag over the other three cells and merge and center. What it does is it takes whatever's in that first cell. So if I had something here and if I had something here, that stuff's going to get thrown away. Okay, right? So it told me that, hey, you're gonna, it's only going to keep what's in the first cell and you're going to lose everything that is going to be laid over with what was in the first cell. So I merged and centered over those three cells and I hit bold. So that was the way I did it, the basic thing, right? To just to get that table looking, looking that way. I'm going to work with this table now because it's a little bit smaller. And here's another really cool thing about this area is I have format as table. So I could just pick any of these looks that I like. And uh, I'm particular, excuse me, to this one right here. And uh, my table has headers. Yes, it does. And I click OK. And now notice what happened. I got a drop down arrow here. and You know, it gets a little bit crazy. I could come up here and I could say no filter button. But then when I try to change this, like I hit delete and hit enter. Whoa, it's like the birthday candles that don't go out. It just keeps coming back, right? So how do I get rid of that stuff? This is a little known trick. You got to right click this whole table, right? Because right now it's seen as a table and it has these design restrictions because I format it using Excel's table. But I, I select that whole table, I right click it, I choose table convert to range. And do you really want to convert it to range? I do. I really do. And now it's just, you know, cells with formatting. And I could click in there and I could delete that and it doesn't care, which is great. But that's a really quick way to format a table and get it looking nice. And when it's in that table way before it's connect, converted to a range, so now I'm no longer in a range, you have these tools. So I could take off the filter button. I could say no banded rows. I could say banded columns, right? And I'll band the columns. I could add a total row in if I wanted. Right, so there's some cool little things in there that I can use right, to get it looking sort of the way I like. Plus, I could come in here and I could choose different styles. So I could see what different styles look like here, different types of tables. I'm going to stick with the one I have. And then, once again, select the whole table. Get rid of the filter button. Right-click it. Choose Table. Convert to Range. Yeah, I want to convert to Range. And then get rid of that. So that's a really nifty, handy little trick. I'm going to move all this back just so that when you open up this project file, whoops, a little, a little bit too far. When you open up this project file, it'll be in this, this state so that you could work with it. So what else is interesting to point out about this? Of course, choosing different fonts, bold, italicized, underline, you know, uh, and I set out, uh, right, like here, here's another.